What's up, y'all, man? I'm just looking at the changes, man. Looking at the changes in my body and stuff, man. Look. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm all over the place. I'm looking at my me and my dad on the photo right there. Me and my pops, man. Check it, man. <clears throat> I just saw Gravity Takeout thumbnail. I didn't even click in the video and I just saw his thumbnail. So I'm like, man, I've been wanting to make videos, but I ain't got nothing to talk about. And they said Freddie P. And I'm in my, oh, I'm, I'm in making the band. I mean, uh, I used to watch making the band all the time, man. So I definitely remember Freddie P. So once I saw Gravity take out thumbnail, I just literally right now I clicked over and um, watched Freddie P's video where he cries. He says he's been con contemplating suicide. Uh, P. Diddy's blackballing him. And um, I said, okay, I'm going to talk about this because I think I could help somebody with this video that I made here. I'm going to take a wild guess. I have no idea. Maybe I'll look after this video. If I were to guess, I'd say that everybody who's making a video about Freddie P right now, they're saying something to the realms of either it's sad you know what I'm saying? Mental health is a, a big deal nowadays in age. P. Diddy is wrong. The industry will take you in, flush you out. They'll say, you know, they're pretty much rocking with them. I want to help people, bruh. This ain't no joke. So this is what I feel will help people. Stop having expectations of others. You have no idea how much stress that would get off of you. Stop. When, when you expect other people to do some stuff, you get mad when they don't come through. That, that's it. That's the biggest that's the biggest thing that bothers people. You, you, you be surprised at how easy you go over. Do you know how many projects I've had? Do you know how many dealings I'm supposed to have or documentaries I'm supposed to have when I'm supposed to work with someone else and they don't come through and I was mad like wow wow they said they're gonna do this wow they promised me this right here I'll set a project up with somebody right now we get all the way to the day before they don't show up okay move on because it ain't worth my sanity and I put my stock into myself now when you stop relying on other people, you put it into yourself. It changes the whole mechanics of how your brain works. It's always on press forward, press forward, press forward, do what I got to do. Instead of complaining. A lot of you guys going to hear what I just said. And your brain is going to be stuck on the world being fair. I used to be you. My mom used to get so frustrated with me. I would come to my mom crying all the time. Such and such did this. Such and such did this right here. It's not fair. It's not fair though. Everything I'm telling my mom is facts. Everything they did, they did. It was wrong. Everything to me. My mom was like, Yo, screw all that stuff, bruh. Why you care so much? Why you care so much? I'm looking at my mom like she crazy. Because what I'm saying is true. Suicide is an issue. Suicide is a problem. That's true. Mental health is a problem. That's true. I'm going to shoot it to you real, bro. I think... I just think making it acceptable in society to talk about these things causes more people to lean on these things. I have been broken in ways that if I told y'all, you would be shocked. You would be shocked that I went through all of that. And I tell you, the day I went through it, you come look at my YouTube channels I got. You be like, he posted a blog on that day. John looked fine on that day. He was going through that? Wow. That happened to him? Bro, it could, wow, they couldn't have been me. I've been going off. I've been broken. Log on, go live, make a video, press forward. It changes your brain.
Listen to some of the key things that Freddie said. Freddie P said, because he was once famous when he was younger, he goes out and try to get a job now and he can't because people are laughing and be like, yo, that's, ain't that Freddie from making the band? So he said because of this, he won't get a job. That's crazy to me. I have an impeccable resume. If I can't get what I want, I'll go flip burgers. A story somebody told me, somebody, uh, my podcast, my podcast partner, um, her husband told me a story. He told me how he lost everything in, in, you know, in his life at one time. Six figure paying job, lots of money rolling in. He lost everything. He said he went to go and shine shoes for $300. An important businessman in his city was shining shoes for $300. Made it all the way back to business people. He was helping out lawyers, doctors he was helping out. He's shining their shoes now. They saw him working real hard. If somebody offered him a job position, make a little bit more money, a little bit more money. You know what he said he did? I collected that little bit of more money. And after I did, did that job for that more money, I still got $300 for shining shoes. Moved up to a higher position. Now he making $80,000 a year. $100,000 a year, moving on up, working really, really hard. When you rely on yourself, you do not stop pressing forward. You don't even have time to give into your emotional thoughts. We're not robots. Everybody has their own limit and measure of when that point is and how much they can take, but I bet you you can move it back if you're being productive. If you're working, Freddie P said he has an adult son. I would do anything I can for any job. I don't care who laugh at me. Just so I can make it and be here to provide for my children. Because I'm jealous of Freddie. Because he made it to his children are adults. It's a blessing as some of you guys say. He made it to his children are adults. I changed my entire life around. I drink water. I eat healthy. Extremely healthy. And I work out seven days a week. Not to look good. Just to make sure I'm here to see my youngest child graduate. Life isn't fair. It ain't fair. It ain't gonna never be fair. And people are gonna F you over. But what I learned on how the world works, the more self-reflective you are, and I'm sad to say this, but the more selfish you are, it seems to me that those people are getting the best out of life and being more happy. DJ Khaled, Rick Ross, the people that Freddie named that he said he felt shun him over, he provided no evidence. He said he felt this way, that he can't prove it, but how else? I can name a billion other reasons. I like Freddie, I like this music. But you can say that maybe people looked at making a band as sort of gimmicky. So they didn't get the same respect that a regular rapper would during their prime. So maybe people didn't want to work with him. Maybe. I'm not saying one way or the other. I'm saying I could throw another option there for someone who says they don't have any evidence. But instead of looking at that and looking at what you can do. When I worked in sales, I would do love to do competitions with people. I would love to compete. Let's see who's gonna sell the most. All right, let's let's go today. Let's see who's gonna say make the most money today. Y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all a secret. I wasn't trying to beat them. I knew that if I pushed and I challenged them, both of us was gonna sell more. If I came in to sell nine, the other person come in to sell nine, but I challenged them, now we going back and forth working our hardest that day. Now they sell 18, I sell 15. I lost by three, but look at how much we both made. You feel me? So like, you, 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 you put your brain to that drive to focus on yourself. You may have a goal to be a millionaire or something like that, but you may not hit that goal. But because you were so focused on trying to get that goal, you woke up every day to hit a million dollars, you may make $800,000. You weren't going to make 800000 They say you the job you had, you was just making a hundred k But you done went up 700000 more bucks because of your goal and your focus. 
even now as I see him making this video, there's a lot of bad things that, that just happened recently in my life. I'm waking up. I'm in healthy. I'm still going to run. I'm still going to take care of my children. I'm still going to do whatever I got to do. Whenever the bad news is, I instantly go into the next phase of what I need to do. I don't ever sit down. I don't have time to dwell on it. Life is short. Maybe it's something that happens when you first turn 40 or you get around my age. I don't have time. I don't have time. Whether it sounds fair, this video sounds fair or not. I guarantee you the advice I gave you in this video will get you more prosper, uh, prosperity in life than the alternative. Diddy is going to be on a yacht. Rick Ross is going to be on a yacht. They're not going to have big concerns and care about Freddie. It is time that, hey, Freddie, you got to do what you got to do. You got to set that goal. What will provide me happiness tonight? He said in the video, his friend asked him what will make him happy when he has these suicidal thoughts. He said, well, what will make him happy is helping other people. There's a billion ways you can help other people with your fame. Fame that you have. There's a billion organizations charities you can start a youtube channel you can sit there i guarantee you you'll have more subscribers than i do starting off especially on this kick where everybody making videos about this guy do it right now and use that to pivot into helping other people if that's what makes you happy set that goal and go for it you can't sit here you can't pine it's only going to make it worse it's only going to make it worse and make these suicidal thoughts even even stronger so that's my video man y'all hold it down I'm